Toll bridges in Pennsylvania have changed quite a bit over the past two years. Most of them don't have toll takers anymore, and everything is electronic. But there is one, one bridge that crosses the Delaware River in the Poconos that still runs the same way it did more than a century ago. John Meyer takes us there on the Pennsylvania Road. Hi there. All right. Have a great day. This is an escape from our Easy Pass world. Hi there. All right. Have a great day. Thank you, Tim. Human interaction, part of the toll to cross this bridge. Oh, yep, well. they got me. <laughs> Good day. This is the Dingman's Bridge over the Delaware River, one of the only privately owned toll bridges in the country. It's an honor to be part of something that's been here for so long. Carol Phillips is secretary and treasurer for the company that owns the bridge. Many of the shareholders are ancestors of the family that started it. It's really important to them because for most of them, it's part of their heritage. The Dingman family's first river crossing was a ferry in the 1700s, thus the name of the nearby community, Dingman's Ferry. Then they saw the need for a bridge. The current one was built in 1900. We gotta try this for ourselves. Okay. There you go. Starting with the in-person toll, our trip across the bridge was like a portal into the past. It is boards of wood that make up the bridge deck, and it sure is narrow. Passing by oncoming traffic feels like quite the squeeze. And it's in great shape. It's, it's an older bridge, and it's um, very well maintained. The sound of rattling boards echoing over the river is a signature of this historic span. There we go. But it is the toll takers who make a trip across the bridge so memorable. All right, All right. enjoy your lunch. Catch have on the way back. Have a good one. Yep. A personal touch to travel at a time that's hard to find. Oh, I love to interact with people. See all kinds of stuff. It is that interaction that has kept Dwayne Marsh manning the post here for 26 years. There are the regular commuters. You know, the first name, you know, I don't know half their last names, but you know. Some of them you see every day? Every day and the tourists offering directions and just some welcoming cheer. The bridge staffed 24 seven, except for Christmas day. People I think take um, some pride in having this bridge here and they connect with it. They connect with the employees and it's, it's an important part of the community. A link between two states, Pennsylvania and New Jersey, and a link to our past. John Meyer, Newswatch 16 on the Pennsylvania Road in Pike County.